hello hello um hope everyone is doing well i'm going to do a video today for youth who would like to work abroad uh, there is a program called a uh, holiday working visa or international experience canada this uh, program involves several countries there are like about 20 or 30 countries that you can work um, if you are in those countries but this program also involves some other countries that not are in the pool so i'm going to talk about those countries today uh, like how you can uh, apply if you are between 18 and 30 uh, some countries allow 35 um, mainly the countries that involved or registered in the pool they exchange youth to work in their respective countries um, but there are countries that are not listed so those countries um, are the ones that i'm going to talk about today so you i have shown this website before this is canada.ca website and i have shown you how to get around here by uh, going to uh, the immigration and citizenship and work in canada section um, so when you go here go to ieac international experience canada class and then you go to get help from recognized organization so this actual program is for youth in the pool but this one actually shows some countries that can actually apply under um, recognized organization program so you just have to register with one of these um, organizations uh, you have to create a profile uh, i actually can show you a little bit of this so you just have to become a candidate it says then how to become a candidate you just have to follow the instructions um, there are three options international co-op working holiday and young professionals i will also show you those three options in um, in the later part of the video uh, you have to sign into your account and then find out if you're eligible without signing in i don't think it's necessary it's better to sign up and then you complete your online IEC profile. And you have to write down your personal reference number. And it looks like this. And then you create your account and enter your personal reference code when it, uh, it asks you to enter. Um, and then if you sign, once you sign up, it will ask you to check your eligibility click continue you won't get a personal reference code you don't need one only just for the eligibility check you don't need the reference code but if you want to apply then you need the reference code so filling in the online forms you just have to lowercase letters you can use uppercase letters you can use so you just have to follow the instructions go to this website click on these links to read what the the uh, suitable letter format that you can use and it also tells you which category is right for you after you fill your profile you can find that out and then uh, actual website is where i want to go is here this is the list of um, organization recognized organizations so what i have you have to do basically go to these the, you can see like it says Brit, brazil india and iec countries iec countries are the ones that are in the pool it doesn't involve sri lanka or like third world most of the third world countries in this pool but here they have added brazil and india so i checked all these ones like united states is allowed in the pool and all these ones are only allowed for these countries for youth between youth and a youth 18 and 35 between all of these are like that but this one when i check uh, specifically for i wanted to check for sri lankans so i checked this one uh, so let's see this so i want when to log in and then you just enter your email address and password or you just say sign up here like right there so you sign up here and then uh, you enter all your information and then i went here and chose the country so sri lanka is there 
and there are many other countries as well so you can choose Maldives or Nigeria Mexico it doesn't matter which one you can choose and then it will give you the options of which country uh, organizations are part of this program Sri Lanka so I selected Sri Lanka um, and then it shows all the local offices that's part of this program so when I checked this actually surprisingly it had most of the international schools and then some uh, like Sujata Vidyalaya, uh, Nalanda College, uh, ISO Sri Lanka, Ratnavali Balika, Devi Balika, um, Zahira College, Holy Family Convent, lots of lots of like you just have to type the name here. I, I was uh, I wanted to check Gateway College Candy, so I actually typed that one. So Gateway College Candy is available. Um, also, let's see uh, St. Anthony's. So it looks like that is not there. Anthony's. So it's not there, it looks like. Um, Royal College, let's see Royal. So Royal International School, Kuru Nagala, Royal College, Royal Institute of Colombo. So you just have to type here like what your college is um, or like you can contact them and through them um, you can get the connection to this organization. And then referral, where did you hear from us? You just enter whatever. And then after you register, uh, you can contact them. And then here are the programs that they have. Uh, their partners are listed here, like they are all like Asian Development Bank, Nokia, like Keystone, PwC. Like these are really big organizations. Um, they are the partners. They fund these programs. I um, see the there's an opportunity if you are a business, if you know know a business that they can post the opportunity here, and then they can hire people from different parts of the world uh, to come and work in this organizing or that company uh, and then for youth see these are food heroes they need our program so there are three programs that they run one is to volunteer and one is to teach and explore interning so if you have an internship, internship, you can actually apply through here as well to work in different countries. So you can choose the country here, not only Canada, there are different countries. Um, so please be mindful and also keep in mind that not all opportunities for everybody. It's just for people who are qualified and then there's an interview process and then you have to have a certain skill set. Uh, that's how you will be qualified for these programs. But there's an opportunity for to apply and no harm in applying. You might get some opportunity anywhere, right? So it's okay to apply. Um, just try this. Um, this is one of the organizations on the website, um, on Canadian website. So I thought that I should let you guys know and how you can apply. Uh, and then um, let's say global teacher, global volunteer, global talent. Let's see. So it says become an intern. So if you want to become an intern, you just click here. These are the opportunities that they have for internship. So if you are in university and you are looking for internship, maybe this is a good place for you to look into. Because through this, see, it also gives you the, the amount of time that you can work, 6 to 12 weeks. So no harm in applying. I cannot guarantee you visa because I don't know. I'm not the one who will offer you the job or provide you the visa. But always there are opportunities. That's what you need to know. There are opportunities that you can grab and then you just have to jump in real quick. There are 508 opportunities found. Um, so the, let's go. Uh, let's go and see the other one. Global teacher. See, Istanbul, you have a kindergarten English teaching opportunity, 168 opportunities. 
um, and the three to six months this is 60 to eight month English teacher in Tekirtag, Turkey uh, this is language teaching again in Turkey English language teacher Colombo Sri Lanka three to six months uh, six months so somebody um, if you they want to live in Sri Lanka for three to six months there's an opportunity as well um, see there are actually a few quite a bit of opportunities in different countries India Peru Turkey India load more you can do Egypt India so don't think that oh why do I have to go to India well you will get something get some international experience um, and good references uh, and your English will improve there's so many so many things that you can and inter getting international exposed uh, means that you are learning about culture and maybe you you will get um, get to know other important people networking uh, travel experience these are all good for your SMA so don't like think that this is not useful it is actually you will eventually get some see there's another opportunity in Sri Lanka as well so there's more opportunities there and then let's go check the volunteer opportunities then some people have money they don't want um, to make money but they want to travel and they don't know how to do it so here you can uh, volunteer your time 14 locations available youth for impact 17 opportunities found and uh, so be again like be aware and then you have to do your own research when you apply there are volunteer opportunities in i know like many many organizations like uh, what is it called vision um, world vision uh, i think some of these organizations charge you money for volunteering so you, that's your job to research talk to them to find out whether if you have to pay for uh, volunteering or if you get paid like a compensation for volunteering so this is good for anyone from around the world i did this in english because i think for this opportunity you really do need to speak english um, and if you don't understand what i am teaching you i don't think that this is the right option for you so because if you are traveling around the world you need to have uh, be able to communicate in english that's so important um, and don't get discouraged because um, learning English isn't that hard I know that I still learn different languages to see whether if I can improve and learn something so it's always good to go like learn something new and also like use this material always like online news channels just grab the opportunity and then just start using them it's important for you to improve yourself there are so many opportunities six locations 13 locations i can check one of these for you global projects one project many countries uh, explore all opportunities it says six weeks raise your voice so these are Brazil I don't recommend going to Brazil a whole lot um, I actually used to have some students in my home from Brazil in uh, all of them um, one is a TV personality actually from Brazil uh, he's a producer um, and then I had an immigration officer uh, from uh, Brazil none of them uh, gave me good um, information or the feedback about their own country they said it's very unsafe to live there so I don't really recommend that uh, Tanzania I know um, they are struggling with like water issues I have a couple of friends actually doing some projects in Tanzania um, of course Ye Helio Foundation Sri Lanka I don't know what that is but it's in Sri Lanka and these are all volunteer opportunities so mind you that you need your own money to live on so uh, there's more opportunities here Italy there's one in Italy if you speak Italy I think that's a good uh, opportunity for you uh, let me see if I can explore a couple more for you guys oh, so 27 locations let's see what this one is explore all opportunities Tanzania Brazil Tanzania Brazil Brazil Tanzania Turkey 
Um, so for you all to know, actually, Turkey is a good country and I love this country and I'm learning the language right now. Um, I can actually understand when they speak really well and I can say a few things as well. But this is also has issues. This country also has some issues about um, with their economy. It's kind of like in a downwards uh, trend right now. So just be mindful about that uh, because you're volunteering and you they don't pay you money. But it's a European country. So if you're, anyone is um, looking for opportunity to enter Europe, Turkey is a good place to go to. Uh, just saying, I'm not saying anybody to do illegal things here. Uh, so Turkey, Vice International School, Sri Lanka, India, Turkey, Turkey, Brazil, Mexico. Mexico is a gateway to USA, but don't do it. Um, anyway, I think that's good enough for you because you can always like click on all these uh, organizations and check whether you are able to go here so make sure that if you do something illegal you close or cover path for everybody else behind you so just be mindful about that as well uh, i think that's pretty much it for today and i hope you guys enjoy my videos and um, please subscribe and click uh, click uh, bell icon and i am hoping to bring more valuable videos in the future thank you for watching my videos